Hey Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. So yeah, the October readings are already out on the channel. I'm going to make sure to pin in the comments the link of your October reading if you want to watch it again or if you haven't watched it yet. So yeah, this is your bonus reading. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Uh, however you connect with the Capricorn energy, you are welcome here. Okay. What is the general energy for my Cappies? Capricorn. Oh, okay. Look at that. Star at the bottom of the deck. I like that. I like that. The star has been showing up a lot in my personal practice and it feels like big things are on the way. We are um, having some type of revelation right now. Um, look at that. The Hierophant is here. It's your general energy. I love that. The Hierophant is connected to old beliefs. You know, it's connected to old systems and structures that have been in place for way too long. And when I see this card, I know that you are about to deconstruct some old beliefs. You know, the Hierophant is you. It's not another person. It's not a person who's wiser than you. It's not this great teacher. It's you. It's you who holds the key. So this month is a lot about trusting your inner wisdom. If ever you have Aries in your chart, go watch the bonus Aries also after because they have the Hierophant at the heart of their reading. So Hierophant is going to be a big card for the month of October. It feels like it keeps coming out. It's time that we trust ourselves. It's time that we stop comparing and that we stop making other people's truth our truth. This is, this, it doesn't work. And I think that it's time we figure out that we are those archetypes. We are the Hierophant. That we know ourselves better than anyone, you know. So the solving, deconstructing some type of old beliefs. I don't know what it means for you, but look at that. You are in control. I love that. So the magician card is, is everything. That's the thing. You know, all the tools are here on the table. We have the infinity loop as above, so below. And the fact that the tools look used is very interesting to me. It's like the tools that you need are infinitely at your disposal, Capricorn. And there's something interesting about that. Again, do you look outside of yourself for validation or for the truth, quote unquote? Because it's within. You are the one who knows yourself better than anyone else. And I feel like the world is noisy right now, especially with social media and the news and everything. It's so easy to, first of all, feel so undecisive and like change our minds constantly. Even if we know our values, even if we're very secure with who we are and what we value the most, there's too much noise. And I feel like October is about stepping away from the noise. It's a big theme for everyone this month. So how are you going to do that? Look at that. Stepping away from the noise. Yeah. Tower is here. Three of swords. Very scary looking cards, but actually they are soul medicine. You know, very bitter medicine. But usually the bitter medicine is what works you know, the best in my opinion. So tower card. Very interesting. Here we have a crown on the Hierophant's head and here the crown is kind of... There's this implosion here. Again, I feel like people around you, it could be your neighbors, it could be your family, it could be people at work, or just the world in general. Again, social media or the news, something became so loud that at one point you were like, I cannot do this anymore. I cannot keep on moving in that direction. Something needs to change. Either I need to adjust or I'm going to have to change scenery. I'm going to have to let go of some people. Because again, there's this clear implosion happening. Is it uncomfortable? Hell yeah. 
but this is life changing. We have three major cards and I'm just starting this reading. So I'm not scared of saying, yeah, this is life changing. And sometimes to really figure out something, some type of truth or, you know, when we, when we have revel things being, sorry, revealed to us in that way, it can be very scary and uncomfortable. But what we're doing right now is being able to take the swords out of the heart to heal wounds properly. So there's something that you've been doing. And it's not that I'm pointing fingers. I think everyone does that. Again, we let the noise in. We get used to the noise. We get used to how crazy the world is. Not really, but still. And here there's this clear stepping away. Clear stepping away from the noise. For some of you, it's going to literally look like having this new dream of buying a house in the country or relocating. For others, it's going to be starting to plan some type of trip to go decompress. But I think for everyone, it's going to be this bigger goal and bigger change. Wanting to work somewhere different. Wanting to really invest time in your physical health and your mental health. There's this massive change that's happening. And again, it starts because you're overwhelmed. There's this implosion. There's a need to just deconstruct old beliefs about yourself and about where you should be and what your life should look like, what your body should look like. You know, how much money you're supposed to make. I feel like you are about to start fresh completely with the tower. And not in a scary way, in a very healing and revealing kind of way. King of Pentacles is here, King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. You got yourself till the end no matter what, Capricorn. So the tarot is never here to scare you. Ever. I don't believe that the tarot should be scary, especially not cards again like the Tower, Three of Swords. The tarot is for you, not to you. It's not a curse. It's not, again, scary or mean. It's a mirror. It's a compass. It's trying to help you, you know, find a way to feel guided and feel confident about your next move or about what's to come. I feel like you are ready for whatever change is about to happen. There could be unexpected change, but you're ready. It's the next natural step for you. This is, this is beautiful. The connection between the spiritual and the physical is so on point right now for you. You trust your intuition. You trust your instinct. You are not you know, being controlled by your mood swings or things like that, by your, your impulses. You are connected to your intuition and you're also very grounded, very secure, very confident, it seems like, for this next move. I think that you know things are about to change and I'm sure that you've experienced so many change already this year. It could be internal change. It could be, you know, things about yourself that were revealed to you, things about your past, whatever it was. I think that you are open more than ever for change. And the Two of Cups is here. I love that. You know, Two of Cups to me is a card of self-love before anything. This is about you. And it could be about connecting with someone because there's this gentle touch here, like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to get vulnerable. I'm ready to have this conversation. I'm ready to let you love me the way I deserve to be loved. I'm able to see in you the beauty in myself. This is the soulmate in the mirror. So there's something about that. I don't know if in the past you made a person your end all be all. You were like, as long as I have them, as long as I have my partner, as long as I have my kids, or as long as I have this, I'll be okay. And I think there's actually a very healthy detachment here. It doesn't take anything away from your 
your power, your wisdom, who you are, to know that this is about you. That you should not make another person your end all be all, even if it's the most amazing partner ever. Even if in your mind you need to only be this person's mother or father, it's like, no, there's something bigger here. There's something bigger. And I'm not saying that, you know, you know, I, I, I know some people might be offended by that. Like, no, the, the biggest responsibility and the biggest thing in my life is to be a parent. And that's beautiful and that's valid, of course. But here, I don't know, it's like you're, you're finding yourself again in some way. You're rediscovering parts of yourself that maybe you had to move on from for a while because you were so busy taking care of other people there's something here there's something here about a part of yourself that you are rediscovering an old passion an old side of you it was always there it's just that you were busy doing other things and this is just about you there's something that is just about you very interesting. Okay, let me see what this is about. Three of Wands, yeah. Queen of Wands, yeah. Knight of Cups. People might ask, what are you doing, Capricorn? What is this change? Why are you suddenly so optimistic and excited about this new beginning? Like, where does this come from? And it's always been a part of you. It's just that now it's moving in the driver's seat for some reason. There could be something, again, because I, I talked about parents, there could be something about, like, your kids are older now, so you have more freedom. Or there's a lot of trust between you and your partner. It's like you can finally breathe a little and do something different with your life. There's something about a new journey, a new passion, a new hobby. And it's only about you. It's connected to your own magic. It's connected to something that you're passionate about. And with the Knight of Cups, I know it's going to be challenging. The Knight of Cups is always inviting us to have more compassion for ourselves. So it could be because people are judging us. It could be because people don't understand the decisions that we're making. And sometimes it confronts people with their own BS. You know, now that you're going to be investing more time into yourself and into some type of new hobby, new passion. There could be people that are like, well, I need you still. I need you to be as present. I need you. And again, I think that there's this big deconstructing of old beliefs. You don't need me. You don't need me and I don't need you. We are a team. We are partners. It's not about needing each other. It's about helping each other and working, kind of collaborating with each other. There's something here about letting go of, of the need to have someone constantly holding your hand. And I don't think it's you. I think it's another person towards you. It's like someone needing, needed you to be there 24-7. It's like their whole world would just fall apart if you would step away a little and focus on your own dreams, on yourself. And something happens here. And I don't know what it is. It could be a very honest conversation with the Hierophant. There's something important happening in a relationship. Again... Think about a person who constantly needs you because there's a difference between needing someone and wanting to spend time with someone. You know, again, this, this partner energy. Very interesting. There's like so much coming through and it seems like it's very, very specific. Knight of Pentacles is here and the King of Wands. We have three kings. So this is it. There's a massive energetical graduation. 
I cannot save you all the time or I cannot be there 24 seven. I need to figure out what I want. And with the King of Wands, it confirms that there's some type of manifestation, some type of dream, some type of goal. You're getting curious about it. Okay, let me try that. Let me have fun with that. I'm going to take my time. I might change my mind and that's okay. I'm being compassionate, loving towards myself. So yeah, it's okay if I'm indecisive. It's okay if I change my mind in two weeks. Let me try this thing for me. Not to make another person comfortable, not to make a person love me more or appreciate me more. Let me try it because I, I need to discover it for myself. I need to figure out for myself if there's something here of value. If this intuitive call that I have is worth something. This is what I'm getting here. Very interesting. And there's the king and queen of wands. You know, I love power couples in the tarot. There's always something that comes up for me when I see the queen and king of the same suit. So this is it. I think that this is going to bring a lot of value and a lot of beauty into a current relationship. To be able to step away from the noise a little bit and say, okay, let me figure out what I want because I feel like I've been following your lead. I've been making your truth my truth and I've been I made you my end all be all. And it doesn't have to be about a relationship. It could be about your job. And you're asking yourself, who am I without this job? Who am I without my home? Who am I without this and that? But there's this new part of you that wants to come up to the surface. And for that to happen, there's a clear tower moment that needs to happen. That's why I felt like you were rebuilding something from the ground up. It's just that you're starting something fresh, something completely different. And it's not other people's job to understand you to support you in this i don't think everyone is going to understand i feel like there could be a lot of questions like what what is capricorn doing are they losing their mind like you've done the same thing your whole life or you've always been there for me anytime i needed you and now you're busy doing other things again i feel like there could have been a little bit of it can be codependency but again, it could be something about a long-term partner, a parent, and there's some type of graduation happening here. You don't need me. And we should not need each other constantly. I am my own person. I have my own dreams and goals. And I want to figure out what they are. Oh yeah, judgment is here in the Four of Wands. Interesting because the Four of Wands is like the Emperor and the Empress together. It's the closest energy to perfection in the tarot. It's the beautiful balance of opposites, Mars and Venus. Um, it could be a power couple. It could be some type of collaboration. Very interesting. Opening horizons. I don't know if you can say that. In French, we say ouvrir ses horizons, élargir ses horizons. And I don't know how to say that in English, but there's something about new horizons. Like, okay, wow, there's a lot of potential here. And you're not cutting anyone out of your life. It's not about that. It's not about dismissing or clearing someone out. It's about being able to collab together, work together, instead of being codependent and needing each other. At one point, you forgot who you were, or this person forgot who they were without you, and that's very unhealthy. That's why I felt like there was codependency. And now we are not needing, we are collaborating. And this is, again, kind of, I keep hearing this thing in French, but like it's opening your horizon. Let me know in the comments, how do I say that? I love when you guys correct me, by the way, because I learn, I learn things, new things all the time. Um, and the judgment card is here. So this is it. It's opening a new path for you. And it can feel like a solitary path because again, this is not 
about other people understanding you and cheering you and being like, yeah, this is the best thing. They might not understand and it's not, it's none of their business. It's like you're saying, I have to do this for me before it's too late. I have to do this for me. I felt this calling for a while now. Let me do this for me and no one else. And if that pisses you off, well, it's your problem. If that makes you feel insecure, if you feel like I'm letting go of you, I'm forgetting about you, this is your own issues because I'm not. I'm still the same person. I'm still the same partner, parent, co-worker, neighbor. I'm still the same person. I just need to know what's out there. I just need to try because I don't want to have any regrets in the future of not trying something, not listening to this gut feeling. Your intuition is very loud right now. You know, the king of cups is here. I think I saw, yeah, I saw the moon card at the bottom of the deck. There's something about a new rhythm, a new cycle in your intuition. And it's very loud. It's like usually the intuition, the soul is a very gentle voice. But here you're being pushed toward, toward something new. And it feels like it does not include the people who need you constantly. It includes you. It's about you. Very interesting. Let me pick some Oracle cards and see, get more clarity around this. That was a wild ride. Let me know in the comments if that meant something to you, Capricorn. I feel like my thinking mind is saying you should scrap this reading, but I don't want to do that. I don't know why. I feel like I could have offended someone or there's a part of me that's like, not enough people are going to connect to this reading, but I need, I need to post it. I feel like there's something important here. Very interesting. Okay. Nothing will come out of this situation and your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to yourself. And nothing will come out of this situation. I think this is about, again, this tower moment that I felt. And tower moments, they don't have to be this scary, traumatizing thing. Sometimes it's a little thing. And I think this is exactly what it means. There's going to be a moment where you're scared of losing someone. And you're not going to lose anyone. You're going to find yourself at the end of this road. It's your commitment to yourself. Your commitment to your dreams. To the things that you wanted in the past. To, again, your intuition. There's something, an important lesson that you learned about yourself, Capricorn. And I'm not sure if you've been applying that lesson. And that's okay. Because you're going to have the opportunity to do that in the month of October. This is a very personal month for you. Not a lot of people are going to understand. And again, remember that you don't need someone to hold your hand through it all. Even if they're not there right beside you, they're still there. You're not, again, clear anyone. No one is, is leaving you. No one is, is gone missing. It's like, it's about you. It's about you. And getting to this higher level of something. Discovering it a part of yourself that you had pushed away, that you had ignored because you had more important things to do, especially around like long-term commitment or family. For some of you, this is literally about a teenager leaving the house and you're like, whoa, okay, I have more time now. I'm still your mom, I'm still your dad, I'm still your caretaker, but I have so much more time. There's so much time opening for me. For others, it's gonna be that a partner is going to be busy doing their own thing. And you're like, okay, wow, that gives me more space for something. There's no codependency. We can collaborate and it's becoming healthier and more balanced. And we are in Libra season. This is what Libra season teaches us. How can we balance the scale? What we need less of and what we need more of. So there's a lot about that for you, Capricorn. Again, let me know in the comments if you relate it in any way. If I offended you in any way, of course, this is never my intention. I love you all so much and my intentions are pure. Anyway, you're definitely, you know, people are going to click off if they get offended. I, I'm, 
I'm sure of that. So thank you for being here. You know you can join me on Patreon. And also mark your calendars, Capricorn, because October 10th is the official launch of my Oracle deck, the deck of Sacred Rhythms, which I'm very proud of and excited to share with you guys. So take care, and I'll talk to you guys next week for another general reading.